Yeah, that camera's still on or on. I heard something beep. No, it went off. Is that the camera? Yeah. Well, look, is this my best side? Well, that's still recording. The outside one went off, babe. Yeah, that's okay. My Make sure you only capture my best side. I'm going to edit it and Photoshop it and make you look really bad. Reach down, hand me. That, that won't take any Photoshop. Reach down, hand you what? My phone's right there in the middle console-y thing. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. All right. You probably don't need a brief, but the only thing I'm going to say is a little different than I suggest is in the event we have to do an off-airport landing and you unlock that door, that thing sticks straight up so it's easy to relock it. Okay. So what I always tell people to do is unlock it, push it, and then yeah. hit the jam so that the uh, that the striker bolt is sticking out. Gotcha. That, that way it won't close. And if the airframe gets tweaked, then the door won't get stuck. Gotcha. All right. uh, and that's the only difference on that. Um, I land off field sometimes. Uh, I, I've heard that. Uh, I wasn't real sure. Uh, we we need your flaps are 10, 10, 10. Okay. Uh, so you want me to up the the flaps for you? Uh, no, you haven't had proper training yet on, on flap usage. Okay. Uh, we're going to do that. Well, they need to successfully complete training <laughs> proper use of the flaps. <laughs> you ought to stick to manual. Part for the course. <laughs> <laughs> Rotates at 60. Anything less than that, if we got a problem, abort, 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 and we'll shut down. Anything above that, uh, we'll take off. We'll look, there's plenty of fields out there to the right. Okay, 1100, four, so 1500. We'll turn. Anything, 2100. We might consider coming back, but with this, I don't want to land with a tailwind like this. <laughs> Sundance traffic, Skyline, November 8th, Echo taking off 1-8, Sundance. Got 1-8 on the paint. I swinging around, heels on the floor. Crosswind correction. Bridge, trims and trims. Instruments green, airspeed's alive. Rotate. Positive rate, flaps coming up. It looks sporty. Uh, it ain't nothing. I know it. <laughs> Sundance traffic, Skyline 805, go turning right, crosswind 1A, Sundance. Jeff Hall said he was listening to you on the radio, Ron. What's that? Jeff Hall was hearing you on the radio. Oh, was he? Yeah. Sundance traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo, turning crosswind to downwind 18, Sundance. Well, it was weird, Dan, when we were landing, the, we were coming around the first time. Yeah. That wind just pushed us. There was nothing you could do. And the second time, it wasn't anything. It wasn't like anything, that. yeah. Yeah. <sighs> well, it is Oklahoma. Yeah. There are some gorgeous horse farms right here. Sundance traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo departing the area to the northeast, Sundance. Janice gonna serve coffee on this plane? What's that? Janice gonna serve coffee? Uh, uh yeah. There's a water. water! There's a water there that Ron drank out of. Do you want that? Uh, I'm good. Wanna fly? Oh. Uh, sure. Here. Yeah, let me, let me fly for 10 seconds here. Okay? Right. Your airplane. All right, I have the controls. You got the controls. All right, so I'm manipulating the controls. Um, um, and, and I got to set up to level out at 5,500. Okay. And I got to keep this under this FOA up here. Oh, okay. I got one question for you. Uh-huh. Since I'm manipulating the controls, just barely, who's the power of the command right now? Well, I, I think I know the answer. Well, it's your airplane, and you pre flight it. Yeah. And you own it. And, uh, and all that. You were the pilot in command when we left the ground, but I'm flying the airplane, so who's the pilot in command right now? Well, I have to remind you, I am far more qualified than you, so think about your answer. I well, am super qualified, so who's the pilot in command? Well, I know in the airlines, but there's only one, and, and it stays with it. I'm, I'm not, I'm assuming GA would be similar. 
Uh, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. I'm going to say you are, just for grins and giggles for the sake of argument. So you think that uh, because I'm manipulating the controls right now, that you transfer pilot and command author authoritarianism over to me? I, I didn't, I didn't pre-flight it, I didn't plan the flight, but on what basis would that be? Now, well, uh, yeah, you did kind of plan the flight because you told me come pick you up. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I said, hey, Ron, come pick, come pick me up. All right, I'm going to let you fly the airplane. I'm going to transfer controls back to you. All right. The airplane? Nah, my airplane. Your airplane. My airplane. All right. Now, I'm kind of a, of the opinion that anybody that you let touch the controls like you just did can touch the controls. You can even allow somebody to a landing or whatever they do, but even if I'm touching the controls, it's still your airplane, you're still the pilot in command, and whatever you say, even though I'm far more qualified than you, you're the pilot in command, I'm going to follow your instructions because it's, it's your plane, this is your deal. Yeah, I, I, I can see that, um, and I kind of kind of intuitively thought that was true in the airlines. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure if that transferred over to GA or not. Well, it's uh, it's an interesting question because it brings it brings up the concept of foggy piloting command. So, if, if I'm qualified in the airplane, transfer controls to me, and I'm manipulating controls, can I log it as piloting command? And that's a whole separate question. So. Now, the only time I, if, if you were instructing me, right, then you could. Right. But if we were just on a joyride, it'd be no different than if Janice took the controls. Exactly. And, and she's not a pilot and um, couldn't log anything. So the answer is that pilot in command gets designated when you're on the ground. Somebody has to be the pilot in command and that that doesn't shift in flight, we can't hand off ownership of the airplane in flight or pilot in commandership of the in flight. Whoever was pilot in command when he taxied out remains the pilot in command, and that's by designation. Okay. Uh, if you ever go to take a check ride, your examiner is always going to tell you in the briefing, the student or the applicant, I guess, is the pilot in command, and they'll always tell you that. No matter what, the designated or designated examiner may actually touch the controls or do something, but he doesn't become the pilot in command just because the examiner touches the controls. Now, now, now I knew that was true for a check ride because right. he because he does clearly state that. But I have never heard in GA but he clearly stating I am pilot. It's always your controls or my controls. It's never been clearly delineated. That one or the other is actually the pilot in command. Right. Well, they, they do that for a reason. It's, it's so that it eliminates the confusion. Somebody's got to be the boss. Have you ever tried to work in a workplace where nobody really knows who, who's the boss and who's giving the orders? Have you ever worked in a place like that? No. No. I mean, it's, it's disaster. No. Somebody has to step in and say, I'm the boss and here's the deal. Yeah, yeah. I uh, like I said, I never really thought that through because it's only been clearly defined on a check ride, me anyway. And uh, but two equally qualified pilots in type. Um, I wasn't a hundred percent sure in GA if the pilot command technical authority could be transferred after takeoff. I, I don't believe that it can. One, one person has to be the pilot in command. Uh, that person can transfer control temporarily, but you can see the confusion that could come into play when we don't know who's the pilot in command. All of a sudden there's a question mark. So that needs to be briefed and clear, especially when there's two equally qualified people up front in the same airplane. Yeah. Who is the pilot in command? Yeah. And what would happen right now 
if if you said we have a problem and I think we should land at this airport right here and I said no I don't think we should I think we should go over to this airport over here who, who gets to make the decision you're the pilot in command even though I think my idea is better and you think your idea is better somebody somebody has to be responsible for making the decision and saying what the deal is going to be see how that can cause a problem yeah, I do. I, I do. It, 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 it all it all stems on who has ultimate uh, authority over what what's going on. Romeo Victor's and I left down wind for three and six. Yeah, that's why. That's why there's a name for that. Pilot in command is pilot in command. Yeah. So, all right. Well, are you ready to talk about AQP? No. All right, AQP. What's it stand for? It's. Uh, Always quit procrastinating. Always quit procrastinating. AQP. Yeah. Willing to traffic. Oh, we've made a lot of progress on uh, on the whole concept and uh, gaining speed rapidly nationwide on the on the concept and makes a makes a huge difference. Oh, advanced qualification program then, right? Is that what it technically stands for? It is, and that's uh, that's a name that the airline people gave to it years ago when they had the exact same problem going on, too many accidents, so it simply means that we're going to think about doing some training and checking on some other things that aren't on your check right, so currently you're, uh, you're what, are you a private pilot? A private and instrument only, yeah. Right, so you've taken two check rides, right? Yes. And on those check rides, you had the things that you had to do to get your private pilot license, like, uh, remember, remember doing S turns across the road? Yeah. And steep turns, and slow flight. All that stuff is very good stuff for an examiner to see if you know how to fly the airplane. He's testing you, so we have to train you. So now that you have got your private pilot's license, it's the last time that you went and took this airplane and went out and did an S turn across the road. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, probably never since yeah. the check ride. Yeah. So that maneuver becomes useless. And when would you ever use an S turn across the road in order to save your life? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it would have to be a really weird situation to go on to say, hey, Janice, I think we better start doing S turns across this road if we're going to get out of this. Yeah. Yeah, I understood it during the private as far as getting a feel for, you know, uh, being in a traffic pattern and kind of getting that feel. But in an emergency situation, you're not trying to do a perfect S turn or, you know, it's, that's what I'm kind of liking about some of the things in AQP, especially like DMMS, is really, you know, kind of come into play, which, um, which I have mark is 76 knots which just happens to correspond to the glide ratio best glide on this plane yep. and uh so you know i really started when um when we started uh doing a couple of these accident reviews that one that uh out in california where that girl went up the same airplane we fly and it appeared she was probably climbing at VX. Yeah, she was slow. And, and in the suit, and as you see, I'm at, uh, my, my, my uh, DMMS is 76 knots. A lot of people think that's only for landing, but, and, and it applies to taking off as well. Exactly. And uh, that's fine if you go on straight, but as soon as she got turned over to approach, the first two things they're gonna tell you to do is climb and turn. But, and I just think she was just way too slow and, and, and it her. Oh yeah, now that was definitely uh, an airspeed related scene. Her airspeed get way too slow and then at that altitude it's over. There's, there's no fixing that. Yeah. So, number one category in general aviation for fatalities is Lack of speed in the traffic pattern, either coming into land or after takeoff. But uh, lack of speed awareness is still number one, no, no doubt about it.
Hey, right, babe. Oh, is this recording now? Yeah, I've got them turned on. Oh, no. Both of them are going. Oh. I'm back here working. Yeah, you are. It's part of the course. It is. But she's, she's the better seven eighths of this arrangement, though. Seven eighths. <laughs> You're, you're being generous to yourself. Yeah. If I went for Janice, I mean, what do you got? And, and, an, airpl an airplane and a GoPro camera? Janice, Janice is what makes the whole thing happen. That is, I, no argument there. We, we, we're a team here, Dan. Wellington traffic, Skyline different breaks. Zero pop the echo is 10 to the southeast. Gonna enter a left downwind for 1-8, full stop, Wellington. Uh, uh, I do see a nice looking cornfield out here. You want to use the runway or the cornfield? Uh, how high is the corn? It's about seven foot. Uh, uh, let's find some shorter corn because I don't want to flip it. Oh, okay. Alright. I'll just be the pilot in command and then I'll put it in the corn. Well, you could do that. But you're not allowed to use the flaps. Oh, you can't use the flaps? We got a little bit of dizziness going on. There's some guy right over the top of Wellington at 2000, is what he said. Yeah. Uh, that's about what we got there. Wellington traffic, Skyline A0 Papa Echo is 7 to the southeast. Going to enter a left downwind for 1 8 full stop Wellington. Got a 39 knot wind up here. That's what we were experiencing down there. It was really pushing at PP. I fuel on both cow flaps open. Pitch your prop in. Our flaps to go. Wellington traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo entering left downwind for 1A, full stop, Wellington. Janice, do you have any last words? I trust him. Alright, being the numbers, I agree. Traffic flight design 149 early Masira, short final 18 Wellington. Alright, and we got you inside on short final. Alright, we got that red biplane inside. Oh, they're stacking them up, ain't they? Uh, the biplane's just uh, doing a little pass, so. Yeah. Well, we'll give them a little. We'll extend our downwind a little bit. Wellington traffic, Skyline Nature of Papeco, turning. Base, 1A, full stop, Wellington. Wellington traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo, on final, 1A, full stop, Wellington. Wellington traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo, short final, 1A, full stop. All right, we got right crosswind here. There's the tap using the left hand side. Experimental well, last time we came here they were uh they were uh blocked by hay bales. Oh yeah. Something to the people here 
And I'm trying to think of a good way to do it, but see those people out there drinking coffee? See them? Ah! <laughs> Alright, now check this out. I just scared Elijah. I didn't touch him or hit him, but did you see his reaction? I'm going to do the exact same thing in 10 seconds. So I'm going to do wah again. Now when I do that, I want you to stay solid as a rock and don't flinch, okay? Because it's coming. I promise you I'm going to do the exact same thing. All right, you ready? Here it comes. Ready? Ha! All right, you see the difference? What's the difference? He knew it was coming. He knew it was coming. His reaction is different because he knew what to expect. All right, you can have a seat. You survived. That's good. We do not need State Farm and, and an ambulance, and we didn't need a tourniquet. Lots of times we end up needing a, a tourniquet off of these things, but that's good. Thank you. Big hand for Elijah out here today. What's the difference? He was expecting it the second time. He was shocked and surprised the first time. If you don't know what you're doing and you have to deal with shock and surprise in the airplane and you haven't thought about this, it's not going to work. Does that make sense?